Good evening everybody and welcome back to the channel. So I am here with Harding's Heavy Equipment, our Hyundai dealer, and uh, we're at the Porter County Fair. We're at their booth. And you're gonna wanna watch this video all the way through because at the end of this video, we are going to be choosing three of our raffle winners. No purchase necessary, you come into the booth. I've advertised this on Facebook and on the community page on YouTube come into the booth and all you got to do is you get a ticket and you put it in the box and we're going to draw three winners so you have um, a chance to win one of three die cast models and then one of my shirts per person so that's a shirt and a die cast model per person so and i'll i'll also throw in a couple decals and some can koozies so all right we're going to go through the equipment that's here and I'll walk around and show you. So we got quite a nice lineup here. So we got the Balmolite TRL 620Y. We played with these at the uh, Equipment Expo. Things were really cool. This is a really nice machine. Really enjoyed playing with it. I'd like to get one out and do some more work with it. But uh, very capable, a lot of fun to run definitely a nice machine and it is a mini so it takes the mini attachments for the mini skid steers and you got a bucket and the forks on this one let's go over here on the bigger side of the excavators that are here got a hx 130 alcr which is a zero tail swing it's got a blade on it now all these are available well this one is available for rent. If you'd like to rent it, $500 a day, $1,500 per week, $4,500 per month. Or you could buy it for $137,145. Really nice machine. Be nice to have a hydraulic thumb on it. Zero tail swing for getting into them tight spaces. Cummins motor. Now we did get our HX220 through Hardings and uh, anything that's ever happened to it they have taken care of us on it so they are very great about uh, warranty work or any parts that we need we get them right away so we got an HX 48 AZ over here now I ran these at the um, utility expo and was really impressed with them very nice machine very smooth strong really liked it yeah 35z 9a another nice size mini so we'll walk over here and see what we got over here something i'd really like to have this is a 17Z9A mini excavator. Now this is the smallest of the minis. The blade flips out so that it can uh, fit through a doorway. It's flipped in now, but you flip it out when you get through the doorway and you have your extra width of your blade. That's really cool. I have to get me one of these eventually. Really like to have one. And then you got the Balmolite WRL58G. Now this is the mini skid steer on tires. Honda GX690 gas engine in there. Now these Balma lights are built in Canada. And if you ask me, I think they're built very well. They handle well and they perform very well. We got the Manitoua. 1650 i was looking this thing over i really like the way that they design the undercarriage because as you can see the track don't come up around super tight or relaxed back there i like that and it's got the big front idler so it's uh not so hard on the track life i have to get one of these out and try it compare it to the bobcat i like the color of it
it is the hydraulic quick attach on it for changing the bucket. Let's go over here and see what we got. So we have the Hyundai skid steer on wheels, the 120V high performance. Now I have not got to run one of the Hyundai skid steers yet, but George did. George ran one at the uh, utility expo and uh, he thought it was pretty cool. It looks nice. It's got the extra weights on the back there. All right, so now we're gonna wait for Dave and Dave and I are gonna go over the HD 100 Hyundai Dozer. These have not been seen very much on YouTube yet. So you're seeing something that's kind of rare yet in the United States. All right, so Dave's gonna go through with us some specs on the HD 100. Now Dave is the guy that got us into a Hyundai excavator and we like it. We run it every day and seems to be a favorite amongst us all. Everybody runs to it to run it. So uh, Dave's gonna go with go over some specs here on the HD 100. Um, what's the horsepower on the HD 100? So the horsepower is 122 uh, horsepower gross. Okay. Uh, 119 net. Okay. So it's 122 horse gross horsepower. So that, that's pretty impressive for a dozer this size. Uh, what's the operating weight? Operating weight is 24,692 pounds. Okay. So still comfortable to haul it on a tag trailer behind a dump truck. Mm -hmm. So, um, you want to open that side panel up yep. and show us one of the cool features that I really like about it. So this is what's really neat is this cab flips backwards on this one instead of to the side like on our new Holland. So it's pretty simple to do. It's, what do you say, four bolts? Four bolts. Uh, there's two uh, right under on this side, two on the opposite side. And actually there is a fifth bolt for the safety bar. So it's uh, right here where my finger's at. Okay. Uh, you release that, it uh, lets the safety bar go. And then as you uh, raise it up, it'll lock into place. And it's just as simple as holding this toggle switch right here. Toggle switch right here. Yep, up and with down. It on, and it'll, uh, and, yep. And then you just bring it back down when you're complete. Yeah. That'll be nice for service work down inside the belly of it. So yeah, really neat feature there. So. We'll close these panels up and we'll walk around the back and we'll check out the backup camera. This is what I thought was really nice because you can simply look down at the dash and see the screen. So the backup camera is up there and you can pretty much see the whole back of the dozer and all this area behind it very easily from sitting in the seat without turning around and having to kink your neck around all day. Something cool that I just noticed that dozer made into the glass right there. That's pretty neat. That's a nice little touch on it. So, and the uh, cooling system is actually in the back of this. The radiator's back here, the fan's back here, so you don't have dirt and debris and dust coming over the back of the blade all day long plugging up your coolers. So I'm assuming that all your coolers are back here. Yes. Yeah, yep. and they got a hydraulic fan to uh, force air through them. Uh, it it's does. Reversing. Yep, reversing fan so it blows either direction. Um, it does come with a drawbar. Well, you have to specify you want a drawbar, but. There is a drawbar option and also a hydraulic ripper option. Okay, and it looks like it might have the ports already here for the ripper, I would assume, Correct. maybe. Yep. Okay. Yep. Now, I didn't look. Is the control in the cab for it already? Uh, yes. Okay. Yeah, everything would already so, be inside. Yeah, if you got the right plumbing, if you wanted to pull a disc or something with this, you could put some fittings on there and pull just a regular disc behind it. Absolutely. Or a roller or something like that. So yeah. that's nice that it comes from factory set up like that already. So we'll open up these side panels over here. So that's where, where all your def is. Uh, you put your def in here. And Dave pointed out these nice little funnels that drain any spillage away and run it out onto the track so it's not in here because def is corrosive takes paint off rust things you also got one for the fuel too so if your fuel nozzle drips um, hydraulic filters here pretty nicely laid out in there it's clean easy to get to 
And then we'll come up here to the engine compartment. Ah, uh, we lost the key for a second. Here, I had it in my pocket. <laughs> so this is our engine compartment. We've got our air filter right here, which is easy to get to. Pretty simple, just pop that open and slide it out. Got your engine oil fill and dipstick right there. Filter right above. Filter right above. So everything looks easy to get to, nicely laid out in there. And something else we noticed about the design is these are all each individual panels. So if one was to get dented or something like that, you could swap it out. Um, and it also looks like you could easily take all of them off pretty quickly to get it all opened up to get in there to do maintenance work. So Absolutely. definitely a nice machine from what I've seen so far. We'll get in the cab and we'll look around here in a minute too. All right, so we're around the front of the dozer here in the business end. And this is a 10 foot seven six way blade on this machine, nice and tall. There's also filters behind the grill that are easy access. You just take this bolt out, grill flips down, you get to them. Something I noticed that I wanna to touch on real quick is all the replacement pieces, the wear items here in the undercarriage. You can actually take these bolts out and you can change these wear bars when you need to, when they get worn into. Um, so when you need to do an undercarriage, it looks very convenient to do undercarriage work on it. All right, so we're gonna go inside the cab now. I like these doors. The only downfall is these doors don't latch back so you can run it like an open station machine. But that's no big deal as long as the AC works in the cab. And another nice thing is the windows open up real big so you can get plenty of airflow. So now that we're in the cab, oh yeah, the key's over here. Everything, all your switches, everything are over on this side. Turn the key on. And then our backup camera should come on. I don't want to start it because I don't want to scare all the fair goers. All right. So as you can see, oh, that's everything you see in the backup camera. And that's a, that's a pretty good view. Yeah, right there. And everything in here is very comfortable and ergonomic. Feels good in the hand. This blade control forward reverse and speed so real nice dozer really like it like what i see I have to get it out and try it sometime they do come great control ready as well great control ready as well yep. and that's where this that's where that would go right correct if you yep. had you know top con or tremble tremble or something like that they may have spot you also have places to put your feet in case you're going down a slope or something like that and need to hold yourself back in the seat I do like their deacceleration pedal. It's nice and wide. It's not just real small. You got plenty of uh, area to keep your foot on it if you want to sit in different angles, things like that. So definitely a cool dozer. So now we will uh, draw our winner for the raffle and uh, see who's the lucky winners for the uh, items that we have up for raffle. So thanks for watching and uh, good luck with the raffle. Thank you for coming and visiting the uh, Harding's Heavy Equipment booth at the Porter County Fair. Uh, we got quite a few raffle tickets in here, and uh, we've got the little Hyundai 17 excavator here. We're going to use it to help us with the drawing. So as you can see, here's our box of tickets. We're going to go ahead and dump them out, and then Dave and I are going to draw our winners. Mix them up real good. We're going to draw our first name here. So let me see if I can get one out of here. There we go. All right. So our first winner is Drake Minifee. So his ticket number was 526067. So what you're going to need to do, Drake, is you're going to have to email me at dirtworks2008 at gmail.com with a picture of your ticket that matches the number of this one and uh, we will get your address and send it to you to send your prizes to you. All right, Dave, you want to draw one? Sure thing. Okay. I'm looking in there. Go. 
Okay. The second one is James Cal Calver. Calver? James Calver? All right, so we got your email, James. So your ticket number was 5260656. So go ahead and uh, email us at that same email address, dirtworks2008 at gmail.com with a picture of your matching ticket, and we'll get you your prizes to you. All Third right. one? Third one. This is actually fun. Third one. Brianna Ress. Uh, Brianna, same thing. Email us a picture of your matching ticket, which is uh, 52 60 64 5, and we will get you your prizes sent to you. So, thank you everybody that uh, took part in the, in the raffle we had here. We had quite a few tickets. It was a great turnout at the, at the fair. And uh, thanks for watching and subscribing. I greatly appreciate it. We'll see you all in the next one.